Hey beautiful people, how are you all doing on this Monday morning? Monday, Monday, beginning to most people's week. Not everybody, but most people. Uh, it is a hot one, but a beautiful one in, in Texas. So yesterday we had some awful, awful weather. Awful weather in the morning. And then I did a live stream yesterday afternoon. Uh, I was kind of all over the place. I was in a squirrely type of mood. Uh, but I did a live stream yesterday uh, after it cleared up. But we had just this like almost, there's a picture it, of Dallas and it almost looks like a bomb went off. But really it was simply, um, it was simply like this humongous rain cloud. And it was just really cool. Uh, but today or it's like, it's like we have some like fluffy little white clouds in the sky, but that's it. It's almost like it's very picturesque. Um, and so it is a beautiful day, beautiful way to start the week. So, um, and I am obviously driving. I'm sure you couldn't figure that out yourselves. Um, I have some pretty, pretty intelligent followers. So I'm assuming that you all figured that out for yourself. Um, but today I was really just thinking and I keep hearing myself telling not only just my clients but actually even myself a little bit uh, to do this one thing and I was like okay continue to like keep hearing this and verbalizing this to other people and then you know there's a couple areas that I've noticed that I even like noticed today I was like okay like yeah I have to do this this particular thing what is this particular thing um well it's surrender surrender our entire life is about surrender uh so like even this morning I really needed my nails done I really like they were hurting they were like if you're a girl if you're a girl and you get your nails done you know what I'm talking about there comes a point where like they get so long really at least for me that it actually like it hurts to write or like type and stuff like it just they grow out too long but I really didn't want to go get my nails done I was like I really don't want to uh, I don't want to take the, it was, uh, I don't want to take the time right now for myself, which I was like, okay, bad Addison, bad Addison. Uh, and then finally I was like, okay, I just need to surrender here. Like my nails are telling me I need to go and take some time for self. So I did. Uh, and I surrendered into that. And that's a, kind of a silly example of surrender, but there are so many other areas uh, of life that until we surrender, actually life is all about surrender. It's not even particular parts of life. If we do not learn to surrender in our lives, we don't pull in all that we desire. We don't pull in all the yummy juiciness that we need into our lives. Uh, so I talk about this a ton with my clients that are seeing me for sex and relationships and even my clients that come to see me for, you know, like expansion of business and things like that. Cause I don't just work with sex and relationships, even though that is how a lot of people come to me. That is not the only thing I work with people on. I work a ton with people on like body image and cause I, cause I spent so long in my own eating disorder and as an eating disorder therapist, I oftentimes end up working a little bit on, you know, body image, self-esteem, self-love, all that, all that stuff. It all kinds of comes, goes together. It really does. But, uh, a lot of times people will come to me for sex and relationships. And when I'm working with them, one of the biggest things we work on is surrender. And people are like, I don't want to surrender or surrender scary, or I'm a man. I don't need to surrender. And that's bull that's bull surrender until we learn to surrender to to our own bodies to our emotions to and I don't mean surrender to our emotions in the way of like oh like letting them go and do whatever they want but to surrender to that the feelings surrender to what's going on in our lives and really just feel into it feel into the moment go into that flow of our lives surrender to the flow of our lives surrender to spirit to surrender to our messages uh, you know, surrender to our abundance, tr tr truly, seriously, to surrender to our abundance. We won't receive, we won't receive. We oftentimes hold what exactly, exactly what we want. The exact freaking thing that we are desiring, we holding at our 
arm's length. We do not surrender to it. And it is because we're not even surrendering to to kind of our own source and our own alignment and what our soul is telling us that we need. We don't surrender in that way. And then we have situations like, why can't I have an orgasm in the bedroom? Why can't I have it? I get that one all the time. Why can't I have an orgasm in the bedroom? Why can't I, as a man, why can't I be multi-orgasmic? And I'm like, you can, you totally can. You have to learn to surrender though. And that is not something that is taught. That is something you have to feel into. That is something that you have to breathe into. We can look at all the areas and ways that you are not surrendering. Hold on, it's hot in my car. Turn the AC. But we can look at all the ways you're not surrendering. But the more we focus in on the not, the more that is exactly what we're going to get. So we don't want to focus in on that. We want to focus in on the areas that we can learn to breathe into and surrender into at a deeper level. Because if you can learn to surrender in the bedroom, and I'm not talking all like BDSM craziness. Now, if you want to do that or you're into that, like that's totally cool. And like that's amazing. But even, even just, oh. into the moment surrender into into kind of what is going on with you in the moment and then choose something positive choose that that really like turned on tapped in focus um, once you have surrendered to it and then even surrender to I think a lot of times I know that people come to me all the time are like oh you're talking about positivity you're talking about this and this and all this like wonderful positive stuff but what do I do with the times when I don't feel positive what do I do with these times when I am not turned in tuned bleh, I can't talk today I'm not turned on I'm not tapped in I'm not doing these things and I'm like first of all like when you focus in on all the places you're not again you're going to continue to grow that and we don't want to do that we don't want to do that it's not good but also, there is a level of like surrendering into like, you know, this doesn't feel good right now. My life maybe doesn't feel good right now. And why doesn't my life feel good? Surrender into that, that feeling for a second. And once you surrender into the feeling, then change it. Then fucking change it. Then focus, then change your focus. But it is about surrendering into yourself, into self. It's not surrendering to somebody else. It's not like surrender to your partner. Let them, you know, just take over give them power that is not surrender surrender is about surrendering within self surrendering to you to your greater purpose to your spirit uh, I see this in people's money as well like it is this this like grasping as soon as we start grasping for anything whether that is our sex life whether that is a relationship whether that is our finances whether that is for a business whatever I mean you guys get the picture there like really whatever is the moment that we push it further away. The second, when we start grasping like this, we doing we start doing this, that is when we're pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And what we need to do is just breathe in, surrender it, get into that, the juicy feeling, surrender into those good feelings that you can get into, you actually can kind of align with and get into. I don't want you making up bullshit where like it's like, okay, I'm going to make up this, these gratitudes. I'm going to make up these places that I feel good. When you really don't feel good, I want you to really surrender into those beautiful feelings and those moments that you do have and that are present in your life. But until you learn to surrender and let go of control, because you know what? Your control is bullshit anyway. You don't actually have control. You don't actually have control. There's only a few things you have control over, and that is your own energy. You have control over your own energy. You have control over how you react, things like that. But for the most part, you don't have all the control you think you have. You, I, We walk around, I know so many people walk around, and we're trying to, I'm about to have a nip slip on Facebook. Uh, this shirt is not conducive to live, to live streaming. It's actually very nip slip conducive. Um, Oops. Um, did not realize that when I put it on this morning. Uh, but, and now I forgot what I was saying. But this surrender piece, the surrender piece. Oh, the control. When we don't realize that, we think that we have all this control and that we can like 
manipulate our lives and control it in this way and do this and, and it's almost like a freaking chessboard. And oh my goodness, how tiring. How freaking tiring if you're always playing a chess game with your life. You're not flow, that's not flow, that's not ease, that's not joy, that's not bliss, that's not really truly enjoying your life. I don't know anybody who wants to, to walk through their life always feeling like they're having to, you know, they're in this like high stress game of like trying to get it right, like oh my goodness. And I know that, I know I can get into that, that place of like, okay, how can I get this right? Like that, you know, I am very a type personality I am in a lot of ways I am very a type personality but you have to learn to just surrender to that flow of life to surrender to what the beauty that is coming to you you know and not surrender to your beliefs to your bullshit beliefs that's not what I'm saying but to surrender to the fact that like yeah sometimes you are gonna have beliefs that are off surrender to the fact that you can also change that you have to just change your energy you have to just like flip that all around and and you can make that that change that you need to make um, but oftentimes we don't really see where we need to truly surrender we end up we go like oh I can't have an orgasm the money's not coming in you know this relationship isn't coming in I'm not meeting you know the woman of my dreams all this this stuff and those are the external things that we see but what we don't see is that you know in the bedroom you know allowing yourself to breathe into that scary place of like orgasm um, and anybody who said I, I I can already hear it I actually like spirit was just like <laughs> you need to say this because I get it all the time uh, people will be like, sex isn't scary. I'm like, that's bullshit. Se if your sex isn't scary, you're not going deep enough. If your sex isn't scaring you at times because it is so deep and so vulnerable, then you're just not doing it right. And yes, I said that. You're just not doing it right. If your sex at some point isn't a little scary, like a little exciting, nerve wracking, but nerve wracking at the same time of like, are we going to do this? Am I going to go there? Yes. That is surrender when you lean into that edge. Surrender is looking at your own bullshit because we all have it, we all have it. So you're not special. We all have this, this bowl in our head that goes on. Uh, but surrendering to looking at yourself and being really real with yourself and going, okay, I need to change here, I need to change here, I need to tweak here. I need to play more here. I need to get into flow more here. I need to actually surrender to calling in this money, looking at the blockages. Uh, surrender to even just receiving. Um, I can't, and I I will throw myself under the bus because I love to throw myself under the bus all my lives. I mean, there's times when I'll like find myself like even in the grocery store carrying like heavy, heavy like things of water and like a guy will come up and be like, oh, can I help you? And I'm like, no, no, I got it, I got it. And I'm like, that was not a surrender moment. That could have been a beautiful moment of surrender, a beautiful moment of leaning in, a beautiful moment of allowing someone else to give. Because what I tell, again, we don't want to nip slip on Facebook. Uh, what, I, what I'm telling the universe in that denial uh, and what I know so many of you are also doing because I work with enough women that so many women do this, so I can speak for us all, is what we're doing is we're saying, I don't want to receive. I don't want to receive the masculine energy that I might be asking for. I don't want to receive, period. And so there is a level of surrendering to receiving. Um, and then even surrendering when you are in a giving state, surrendering to the fact that in your giving, you are also receiving. I'm doing an oral sex class with Kendall Williams on June 22nd in the Dallas Fort Worth area so if you're in the area then tune in if not the first part of this class is actually on my programs page but we're talking about oral sex and in this it really is this beautiful learning of how you are getting so much by giving and you and by by receiving you are also giving a gift um, and it is it has so much wrapped up in a state of learning to surrender, learning to surrender because you cannot have vulnerable, orgasmic, freaking fantastic 
oral sex if you don't if you and your partner are not surrendering if you guys are are not in a state of surrender then it's just not gonna be the same level of exchange uh, so yeah but that is surrender so our whole lives are surrender so if your life is feeling very tapped out right now if you're not receiving what you truly desire then look at where you're not surrendering. Look at the places you are not surrendering to your purpose, your passion, your play, your desire. So, so yeah. And on that note, purpose, passion, play, all that jazz. Uh, if you are an entrepreneur and if you are, or if you have a side hustle or whatever, um, June 25th through the 27th, I'm also doing Monetizing Badass Bosses. I'm gonna teach you, and Kendall is also gonna teach you from the Dominican Republic on our girls trip because we love the work we do. So of course we're gonna do it while we are on our girls trip. We're gonna be doing Monetizing Badass Bosses and this is a workshop all to get you into your passion, your play in order to pull in your profits. And profits don't always mean financial. So if you're like, no, I got the financial, that doesn't mean that this course is not for you because profits come in so many different ways in our lives. And we're gonna get in there, we're gonna look at our money mindset, we're gonna look at play, we're gonna help you find a way to truly tap into your passion. Because if you're not passionate about your life, if you're not passionate about your goals, your dreams, your desires, and guess what? What's the point? What's the fucking point? If you don't love your life, what is the point of doing what you're doing? What's the point of making all that money if you don't love it? If you're not loving it, if you're not enjoying it, if you're not having a playful, fun, exciting life. And both Kendall and I have both been in a place uh, at a, earlier in our lives where we struggled with, well, I don't know if she ever really struggled with play. I have struggled with play. Uh, a state of struggling with play, really trying to find our passion, really trying to open up to money. And so we have learned all these things throughout our lives and we're here to really present them to you and help you jump so many steps and really get in alignment with your soul and pull in those those profits really get into your passion really get into your play and just enjoy your life so if you're interested in that please check out that program it is on my website so is the oral sex workshop if you're in the dfw area or if you're not and you want to just take the first half of that course it is also recorded on my website so just click the programs tab and you can have access to it all for all to yourself so on that note i'm gonna go enjoy my new nails and uh and just have an amazing day i'm gonna go be fierce and fiery and create a fulfilling fulfilling type of day and i hope you do the same for yourselves all right guys i love you i hope you have a blessed day and i'll talk to you tomorrow bye